The opinions and statements made on the Josh Bernstein Show are solely those of the host and do not reflect those of any of the show's advertisers or sponsors. President Trump could cure cancer tomorrow and rescue kittens from a burning building, and they'd still call him a piece of I don't want to drain the swamp. What I want to do is I want to drown these swamp monsters in their own swamp water. And now, America's favorite bald badass, Josh Bernstein. Welcome back to the program. We all know who Alexandria Occasional Cortex is, and most of us know who Ilhan Omar, as she's a rabid anti-Semite, and she's all over the news even right now. Uh, we even know who Rashida Tlaib is. She's another one that is also an anti-Semite. And for a lesser-known folks, uh, Ayanna Presley and Ro Khanna. Now, who are these people? Well, obviously, they're part of the new freshman, radical, leftist, Marxist, communist Democrats uh, in the House that have been recently elected. But these are not your typical Democrats. These are not folks that uh, came up in the ranks, if you will, through the Democratic Party. Uh, not many of them have political experience, to be quite honest. Some of them do. But for the most part, they've got pretty thin resumes. And guess what? That's on purpose, which is what I'm going to go into and explain a little bit more. Where did they come from? Where did these folks come from? Did they just decide one day that, hey, you know, I just want to run for Congress? No, no, they did not. How did they ascend to the highest office of the U.S. government? And who if anyone, is funding, marketing, and promoting these folks? Well, they are a byproduct of an organization at, which is the brainchild of a very evil and sinister group known as the Justice Democrats. The Justice Democrats which if you want to check out a little bit more of them, you can know your enemy by going to www.justicedemocrats.com. They are a very interesting group, and they are a group that every American that believes in freedom and liberty and prosperity ought to know a lot about. Go ahead and roll this clip. Back in 2016, we put out a call for nominations, trying to capture the diversity of background, of experience of the American electorate, the people that aren't currently represented in office. We got over 10,000 nominations. Out of those 10,000 nominations, we found Alexandria. My brother told me that he had sent my nomination in the summer, but I was like, literally working out of a restaurant and I was like, there's no way. She was like, well, would you be open entering this kind of nomination process? And I was like, sure, because that's not a, will you run for Congress? Yeah, we felt the passion in her voice. She really wanted to fight for the big thing. And she got on a bunch of uh, video calls to meet some of the other candidates that at the time were thinking about running. There were so many other amazing candidates. The entire time I didn't think I was gonna be picked. In my brain, I was like, this isn't gonna happen, this isn't gonna happen until Izzy called and she was like, hey, do you want to go to Kentucky in two weeks? <laughs> and I was like, oh. We invited people to an in-person summit in Kentucky when we started getting serious about who we were going to run. Well, Kentucky was, I mean, I found it at least for me, that was a spiritual experience. That, that was, me, it was, was a spiritual experience. It was. Yeah. What happened was just magic. All these people from all over the country, incredible community leaders, talking about similar problems they all faced, talking to each other, engaging, pumping each other up pumping us up, you know. That was like a super pivotal moment, I felt like. I just remember the first day we've created this network of people that put movement first. Feeling like it was a movement and that it wasn't about me was the most convincing aspect, being like, oh yeah, I'll do this because it's a bunch of crazy people <laughs> and this will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Only way that we're ever going to be able to change the structures of power in our highest levels of government is if we can get people like you that are closest to the community into the halls of power to talk about these big ideas, a Green New Deal, expanding and improved Medicare for all, ending poverty. They were originally funded 
by the Young Turks, or as I like to call them, the Young Jerks, which are uh, two of the far-left know-nothings radicals who uh, were part f uh, founders of this group. You had um, Kyle Kulinski and Senk Yugar, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, either one of them, by the way, would never debate Josh Bernstein. I would love to debate either one of them. I would keep it civil. I would keep it professional. But I would intellectually eviscerate any one of them and embarrass them. So obviously they're not going to come on this show and face me on the issues. Both are no longer affiliated with this organization. Uh, they left under strange terms. I think uh, apparently there was some shenanigans going on behind the scenes. Long story short, they were pushed out of the organization and is now run and operated by this woman here. Her name is Alexandra Rojas. This group ran 79 total candidates for office in 2018, out of which 26 of those 79 actually won their primaries, but thankfully lost in the general election. However, seven, seven did actually win in 2018. You had longtime leftist Raul Grijalva down near Tucson, Arizona in that district, uh, and Pramila Jayapal was another one. And then you had Ro Khanna, you had Ayana Presley, you had Ilhan Omar, you had Rashida Tlaib, and yes, of course, their poster girl, Alexandria Occasional Cortex. Even though only seven of these folks actually won their seats, they've only been an organization since January 23rd, 2017. So think about that. They have not been around that long and they've already had enough influence and power to get seven people elected. Now, what are the Justice Democrats and what do they believe in? Well, Basically, anything that Alexandria Occasional Cortex believes in, Ilhan Omar believes in, Rashida Tlaib believes in, and the radical leftist Democrats believe in. But I'll give you a list. Uh, they obviously believe in the Green New Deal. They believe in raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, which would bankrupt this country as well. They believe in universal basic income, another way to bankrupt the country. Uh, Medicare for all, certainly a huge way to bankrupt the country at $32 trillion cost. Free college tuition, bankrupt the country. Slavery reparations. Late-term abortion or infanticide. Uh, free housing for the homeless, which is never free, by the way. Uh, taxpayers always pay for that. Um, they are anti-police at their core. Um, they are for strict gun control, universal background checks, limiting magazines, limiting bullets, uh, you know, assault weapons bans. They are not fans of the Second Amendment. Um, and uh, they are for no photo ID at the voting booths, of course. They are for abolishing ICE. Now, again, these are all things that they say that they're for. Abolishing ICE. They're for open borders. They're for no border wall, obviously. They're for DACA. They're for DAPA. They're for unfettered and unlimited blanket amnesty, basically. Uh, they're for illegal aliens voting in elections. They for, they're for sanctuary cities. They're for abolishing the death penalty. They want to make Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico the 51st and 52nd states. Um, they are for uh, net neutrality to silence conservatives like myself. They are for repealing the tax cuts or taking back your crumbs, as Nancy said. They are for increasing the death tax. We finally got it uh, to the point where it's almost non-existent because we raised the threshold so high that it doesn't hit as many people. And what do they want to do? They want to bring it all the way back down so that you literally are taxed to death, literally. Uh, and of course, uh, they want to raise tax rates to between 50 and 70 percent. The Justice Democrats are literally the equivalent of a Hollywood casting agent. Okay, that's what they are. I mean, you need a young Hispanic? Let's cast a call to see who wants to run for Congress. Oh, here's a good one. 
We've got a girl named Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Boom, check mark for the Hispanic. Uh, we need a young Muslim. Hey, I know. How about we find this Ilhan Omar? Let's get her to run for Congress. Check. Uh, we need a young Palestinian woman. Rashida Tlaib. Check. Uh, we need a young black woman. Ayanna Presley. Check. This is exactly what this are. These folks, these freshman Democrats that were elected, these seven, or actually five because the other two were there already, but the five that were elected, okay, they are literally manufactured candidates. They are the political equivalent to the Spice Girls, okay? Basically, that's who they are. They are the political equivalent to the Spice Girls. And what's worse is that this group, Justice Democrats, they do not want people that have experience. They purposely do not want people that are connected to Washington, that uh, have support from lobbyist groups, that, uh, you know, maybe are worked uh, previously in Washington. They don't want people with experience. They want people to run for Congress that don't have experience, like an occasional Cortex who was a bartender, who was just literally plucked out of nowhere, okay? Now, the, they want to challenge incumbent Democrats. They pledge to wreak havoc, as they've already been doing, because it's very rare that seven new freshman Democrats make this much stink over anything and make uh, the headlines out there that quickly. Um, and most, not all, but most do not even have a desire to have a long-term political career. They want to get into politics. They want to hit as hard as they can. They want to change as much as they can, and then they want to get out, and then they want to recruit new people that are just as radical, if not more radical, to replace the other people, okay? That's what this organization is all about. They are more concerned with rocking the boat than they are with steering the ship, okay? And unfortunately, that is the truth. So please share this video everywhere you can and make sure that people understand that these people are behind these freshman Democrats because people need to know where the money is, where the marketing is, and where the outreach and the activism and all that stuff is behind the scenes. You know, the Democratic Party really can't call itself the Democratic Party in the year 2019. And quite frankly, it's probably been for the last five or six years, but certainly now. They are Islamic compliant. They are Marxist, Leninist, Stalinist, Maoist, if you will, in their ideology. They support terrorism. They are anti-Israel. They support open borders, which means that they're fine having Americans be killed by illegal aliens. Um, they are for taxing you to death. They are for controlling every aspect of your life. And quite frankly, I think, and this is going to be a controversial statement, and that's fine. Maybe Right Wing Watch will do a full story on me. But I think at this point, based on their platform, based on their advanced leftist ideology, that the Democratic Party should be dissolved. They should be banned from all elections at their current position on the positions. They're, they're, they're pro-death. They're demonic. They have no sense of self. They have no sense of self-worth or human value that they count. Unless, of course, you're an illegal alien child, I guess. And to be quite frankly, they should be labeled as a terrorist organization. Just like ISIS, just like Al-Qaeda, just like Hamas, just like Hezbollah, just like Antifa, just like white supremacist groups, they're a terrorist organization right now. And they are literally terrorizing this country. They are holding our security, our national security hostage with the border wall. They are killing infants. They are murdering people and getting away with it legally. They're passing more and more laws to do this. These people are evil. They are evil. And again, I'm not being partisan. So I don't want someone to think, oh, well, Josh, you're just a Republican. No. I'm a truth seeker and a truth teller. And if the Republicans were doing the same thing, and be quite frank, we don't really have a Republican Party. What we have is a moderate to conservative Democrat Party, like something that you would see in the 1970s and maybe 1980s, 
okay, as far as conservatism and ideology, because the Republican Party has shifted way far to the left as well. And all you have to do is look at Fox News for proof of that. I mean, many of the people on Fox News, I mean, what are they, CNN light? So here we have one party that is a conservative Democrat moderate party at best in the Republican Party, the former Republican Party, and then you have another party that is outright communist, Marxist, Leninist, Stalinist, whatever, uh, you know, chi -com, I mean, Venezuela to the hundredth degree. This is what they believe in. So if we have an organization and a party that is that far to the left and the complete antithesis to our U.S. Constitution, our founding principles, our value system, then they need to be labeled as such. Now, maybe I'm going a little far off the deep end, but to be quite honest, I don't think I am. And guess what? Many of you watching this probably agree with me. And if you don't, put it down in the comments below. And if you do, put it down in the comments below. Love to read it. We'll see you soon. The farther a society gets away from the truth, the more they hate those that speak it. I wanna thank you personally for watching my video. I hope you enjoy the way that I do my show. Uh, it is uh, a unique way of doing it. I give you all the facts. I give you everything. I'm a truth seeker and a truth teller. And for that, I am also a target. And this channel is not monetized. How do you know it's not monetized? Do you see any commercials running? Are any commercials interrupting what I'm doing? No, they're not. So please help me monetize this program. YouTube has shut me down from being able to make any kind of monetization on what I'm doing and my efforts. So basically, I'm taking the arrows, I'm taking the risk, and so far, putting it out in my own pocket, putting it out there for everyone, and not really getting compensated for it. So please, do me a favor. If you like what I do, go to patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Again, you can see it in the image, www.patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Put five, ten dollars uh, a month on my Patreon. Uh, it's not an expenditure, it's an investment. It's an investment in future freedoms, it's an investment in prosperity, because I eat, sleep, and breathe protecting this nation. And remember, in times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Thank you, and God bless you.